Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. <sighs> What's happening? It's really dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. can feel you coming. Shh. Coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. She's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Why isn't she looking closer? She needs Do to not forget closer. my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. on a hunt. But she's not stopping. Was right. Is it there? Is it 
What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. He's lost. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. to save his soul. She wants her soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him to rest. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Truth? Tales 
voice of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It worked. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What good is that? When we are always here. dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain.
Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time.
the hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the All-Father. hides the path to Balraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. What's that? It's 
door. No, it's not it. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Push it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Look. 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 Something was different. Change. behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Valravan's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. with the mark of Valraven.
the world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching. Another game. the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Winter before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some like truth become gout in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the perjure curse. Those who make it back are forever changed.
She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can she get up. It must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Raven. Tricking her. Raven. How can she get up? Wait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not trying to It's magic. It's an illusion. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls.
Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. So no one does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Reminds her of somewhere. The forest. Where? Which forest? From the wilds. The wilds. She left the room. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Drew, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But she didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her.
Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. The gate is open! Gate is open. open. She did, she did it. She did it. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness.
overcome Valravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Druth. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findan. The Northmen captured Findan's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. And when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findan made his escape. What was Findan? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findan never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times.
gate is open. Wait, open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. far into the void that may be this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Help. Reach out to me. Help Senua. Me. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you. I see you now. You let me to the wild. You trapped me there! Go! Fight the game! Build 
Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered Letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. The trees. The mountains. The caves. Mother? 
Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Another challenge. Another challenge. She hasn't yes. challenged Sert. 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 the fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground! Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. Badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. 
Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northman. Senua, we each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons. Some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see. But there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. human flesh. <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. Do you hear them too, Senua? Yes, yes. I heard their screams. And I still hear them now.
path to Helheim is sealed to the living. Do you already walk amongst the dead? Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Oh, 
to get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth said. Find your own path. There's always another way. There's always a way. Find your own way. You just have to find it. Is waiting for you. It was never going to be that easy. He's waiting. Set <laughs> is waiting he can't for you. Find him. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes, but they just screamed like helpless pigs. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone.
Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. to shed your tears. Raise your world to the ground! My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No, I see nothing now.
Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you.
Keep running! Go on! Nothing will stop me! Run, Sarah! Run, run, run! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise.
every battle won. A greater battle takes its place. And so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Mm. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest. Truth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness, spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds, to my world.
The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. An illusion of self is shattered. You simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. And a monster. Senua has died before, and she will do so again. You can be sure of that. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. <laughs> 